Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. If you don't know me, I am an expat from Finland and I have now lived in the Netherlands for about two and a half years. And recently I went back to my home country to visit my family and friends and it got me thinking about things that I kind of miss about Finland, but also reminded me of the things I don't really miss. So I hope you will find it interesting. Let's get right to it. When I've been living here in the Netherlands, I have kind of noticed that I actually miss winter, which is not something I thought I would miss. And when I say I miss winter, I mean like proper winter wonderland kind of winter with lots of snow everywhere. During the time that I have lived here in the Netherlands, I only recall one time when it's been proper winter, like according to my standards, and that was in 2021 February. <laughs> I still remember it. For one week, the canals froze and there was snow and well, also quite a lot of chaos with the snow. But yeah, it was so beautiful and the city of Leiden where I live was covered with snow and people were ice skating and it was just really lovely. Ever since then, there hasn't really been any proper snowfall. I have understood though that there is a bit more snow in the southern parts of the Netherlands. But here where I live in South Holland, close by the sea, we don't really get snow here very often. Here in the Netherlands, winter is more like a long November. It is rainy, gray, dark, and yeah, that kind of winter weather instead of the winter wonderland sceneries that I'm maybe more used to. Okay, so to contradict what I just said, I do miss winter, but I don't miss Finnish spring because... Yeah, in Finland, we don't really have spring. We have something we call takatalvi. It can happen several times during spring. And what it means is that once it's supposed to be a bit more spring weather and stuff, for us, it means that the snow melts and you're like, yes, spring is coming. And then takatalvi comes, winter weather hits again and it's snowing again. And this will happen again and again and again. And at some point you get so sick of the snow and winter and you're just praying to whoever is listening that please let there be no more snowfall because it just never ends. In this process, the winter also usually gets more ugly in a way because there's a lot of this slushy snow and ice and like dirty snow so yeah I do not miss that part of winter I remember back when I was living in Finland I used to wonder when people would say that spring is their favorite time of the year because when I thought about spring I thought about the Finnish spring but now when I've lived here in the Netherlands I have actually learned to understand what these people mean as here spring is actually lovely mostly the weather is sunny everything's blooming it's getting green it's the way spring is supposed to be <laughs> so yeah these days I would probably say that spring is my favorite time of the year but the Dutch spring not Finnish spring, so it depends very much on where in the world you are, I guess. <laughs> so I have learned that the best way for me to get my winter fix of the year is to just visit Finland for a bit during the winter time and then come back. Or if we could have that one wintry week as we did in 2021 every year here in the Netherlands, that would be perfect. From Finland, I miss the Finnish food and the great supermarkets that we have in Finland. I feel like here in the Netherlands, the selection is not as broad as what it is in Finland. Here in the Netherlands, the supermarkets are much smaller. I have seen a few XXL Albert Heinz, for example, but usually they're very far away and not really in the cities and not so easily accessible if you don't have a car. For example, in Finland, just our ice cream selection is humongous. Other than the supermarkets, I miss the food itself, of course, which I think is probably normal to miss food from your own home country. I remember, for example, when my boyfriend was for a longer time in Finland, 
he was really missing the proper Dutch cheese. I really miss some Finnish foods like phaser candy and chocolates and all the bread we have. We have rye bread and oat bread and potato bread and oh, so many different kinds of bread. And I also miss Hesburger, which is this big burger chain that we have in Finland. Luckily, there are some ways for me to buy some Finnish products also when living in the Netherlands. For example, in Rotterdam, there's a place called Finse House where you can buy some Finnish goodies. And it is also possible to order stuff online. Of course, it is much more expensive that way. Finland is a bit of an isolated country. Even when you look at it on the map, you can see that Finland is located right on the edge of Europe. But I feel like it's not isolated just location-wise, also like culturally. Finland is a very unique and different country from most other countries that I know, which mostly I think is a good thing. But when living there, you sometimes do feel a bit isolated from the rest of the world. Us Finns are quite nationalistic people. I think I saw a poll asking, would you fight for your country? And Finland had the highest rate of people saying yes, which I think is a good thing. But sometimes when you're in Finland, I notice that you kind of forget about the rest of the world. This also might make people a bit more close-minded. Traveling distances in Finland are much more bigger you can easily get to Sweden or Estonia by boat but that's only if you live in the southern parts of Finland and maybe people who live in the north of Finland can drive to Norway quite easily for Russia you need a visa so you don't just drive there just like that even before the world situation that is right now there even the cities within Finland are quite far away from each other and flying is also much more expensive than what it is here in the Netherlands for example then again here in the Netherlands I really feel like I am in the center of Europe everything is close by I can jump on a train and within two hours I can be in London or Paris or yeah the list goes on and I find that really amazing and something you could never do in Finland <laughs> Something that I really miss about Finland when in the Netherlands is the silence. The Netherlands is a very densely populated country and it can be quite difficult to find a place that is completely quiet and calm. Even when visiting national parks and bigger nature areas, you can always kind of hear other people or traffic in the distance. It is never like perfectly silent. Then again, in Finland, when you go into the forest, for example, the silence there is so loud, if I can say so. The most you might hear is some um, birds chirping or the wind. That's about it. And as a Finn, sometimes I really miss that silence. <laughs> In Finland, a lot of things are built in an efficient way and also for the sake of efficient living, if you know what I mean. In Finland, we have a lot of shopping malls, for example, and most apartments, for example, are also built in this way. But quite often, I feel like this makes it lack character and beauty. We have, for example, a lot of these cities in Finland that are purely built for the sake of people to live in them. It is just built so that everything works perfectly. The cities end up often looking quite ugly and depressing, to be honest. Then again, here in the Netherlands, I feel like most cities I have visited have been stunning. And everywhere you look, it is beautiful. I feel like that is really important for your mental health. And for someone like me who enjoys photography, for example, I really appreciate the beautiful cities all around me here. However, as a side note, yes, we have a lot of like ugly apartment buildings in Finland, but we also have these more suburban areas full of wooden houses that are really, really beautiful. And actually those kind of houses I haven't really seen much of here in the Netherlands. And I think those are really beautiful. There are also beautiful areas within cities in Finland, of course, but that's just a handful of cities, I would say. There are so many ugly cities in Finland, so I wish we had more beautiful cities in Finland as well. 
both the Finnish and Dutch nature is beautiful, of course, don't get me wrong. If I would have to choose one over the other, the point would go to Finland. I also feel like in Finland, nature is much more accessible and easy to get to. For example, I grew up in the suburb of our capital city, Helsinki in Finland. We literally had a forest right next to our backyard. Here in the Netherlands, there is also beautiful nature, but it is not as accessible and I feel like you kind of need to make a day for it to go to nature and like plan it a bit ahead. Of course, this might vary depending on where you live in the Netherlands. There are also areas with more nature around than here in Leiden. But then again, in Finland, it doesn't really matter where you live, everywhere you are surrounded by nature, pretty much. Even when living in the bigger cities. All in all, even though I do miss some things about my home country, which I think is normal, I don't think it really matters where you're from, you will always miss some things from your home country, no matter where you live. I would say that I love my life here in the Netherlands, and I think living the Dutch life is amazing. And yeah, that's about it for this time. I think I could come up with even more things i would say these are the main top things that come to my mind and that i was thinking about while visiting finland do you maybe have any thoughts or questions about what i just spoke about if you do please let me know down in the comments and if you like this video please also give it a thumbs up but yeah i'm gonna end this video here i hope you have enjoyed it and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye